Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in, and for those of you who haven't visited the channel, welcome to x Rides Cars. Today, we'll go ahead and take a look at this 2020 Ford Mustang GT Premium Convertible. So this will be a full take on the Mustang. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects on both the interior as well as the exterior. As you can see, the Mustang does come standard with remote start. The Mustang does come standard with the remote smart key access system, so all you have to do is keep the key fob in your pocket and locate this indentation on the door handle to lock and unlock the vehicle. To lock, just tap it. Then after waiting a second, just grab the handle and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. The exterior color is known as Oxford White, featuring a full ebony leather interior. You also have silver trim across the doors and the dash. Along with that, you do have gray color contrast stitching on the seats. And along with that smart key system, the new Mustang also comes in with remote push button ignition. All you have to do is put your foot on the brake and hit this button in the center console to start. And you gotta love that strong, muscular startup with that 5 liter naturally aspirated V8. The Mustang GT does come standard with speed proportional electric assist rack and pinion power steering on this three spoke black leather wrap steering wheel with your multifunction controls on both the top two spokes as well as a little bit under as well. You also have silver trim coming across all spokes. As far as transmission for the GT, you have a standard six speed manual gearbox while this vehicle comes with the optional 10 speed automatic transmission. You have manual shifting using the paddle shifters mounted on the back of the steering wheel. Once you put the vehicle in reverse, you have a backup camera that will appear with guidance lines. And along with that, you have a parking sensor diagram as well. You have a full e-brake. So before we begin, we'll go ahead and put the top down. All you have to do is just unlock it first. Then just hit this button to retract it back. Simple as that.
And so we'll go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. Both the windows are fully automatic. So we'll go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? The vehicle will also chime a few times, letting you know it has lost detection of the proximity key fog. The Ford Mustang is an American muscle car. It was the first car to be recognized as a pony car, distinguished as affordable coupes with long hoods and short rear decks. It is also what led to the creation of competitors such as the Pontiac Firebird, AMC Javelin, Plymouth Barracuda, and the Dodge Challenger. The Mustang also gets credit as it inspired the designs of cars such as the Ford Capri and Toyota Salisa. The Mustang was initially based on the platform of the second generation North American Ford Falcon, which was a compact car. The original 1962 Mustang 1 two-seater concept eventually evolved into the Ford Mustang 2 four-seater, which was used to pre-test how the public would take interest in the first production Mustang. The first generation Mustang was introduced in April of 1964 at New York World's Fair, with production in Dearborn, Michigan for the 1965 model year. They were made in three body styles, and Ford's designers began drawing up larger versions even as the original was achieving sales success. From 1967 until 1973, the Mustang got bigger but not necessarily more powerful. It was facelifted, giving it a more massive look overall and allowing a big block engine to be offered for the first time. Front and rear end styling was more pronounced, and the twin cove instrument panel offered a thicker crash pad and larger gauges. Hardtop, fastback, and convertible body styles continued from the beginning. New safety regulations by the US NHTSA for 1967 included an energy absorbing steering column and wheel four-way emergency flashers, a dual-circuit hydraulic braking system, and softer interior knobs. The 1968 models received revised side scoops, steering wheel, and gas caps. Side marker lights were also added that year, and cars built after January of 1968 included shoulder belts for both front seats on coupes. The 1969 restyle added more heft to the body as width and length again increased. Weight went up marketedly too. Due to the larger body and revised front end styling, the 1969 models had a notable aggressive stance. The 69 models featured quad headlamps, which disappeared to make way for a wider grille and returned to standard headlamps in the 1970 models. This switch back to standard headlamps was an attempt to tame the aggressive styling of the 69 model to some felt was too extreme and hurt sales, but 69 production exceeded the 70 total. The second generation Ford Mustang was revealed in September of 1973, a few months before the 1973 oil crisis. The second gen was smaller in size, which allowed it to compete against successful imported sports coupes such as the Datsun 240Z, Toyota Celisa, and European Ford Capri. This model was available in both coupe and hatchback versions, including a luxury Gia model designed by Ford's recently acquired Gia of Italy. All Mustangs in this generation did more feature frameless store glass, however. The Gia featured a thickly padded vinyl roof and smaller rear quarter windows, giving it a more formal look. Models available in 1974 were the Hardtop, Hatchback, Mach 1, and Gia. Changes introduced for 1975 included availability of an MPG model, which had a different rear axle ratio for better fuel economy. 1976 added the Stallion trim package. The Mach 1 remained through a life cycle from 1974 to 1978. Other changes in appearance and performance came with a Cobra 2 version from 1976 to 1978 as well as a King Cobra model in 1978. On 1977 and 1978 hatchback models in all trim levels was now available with the very popular T-Toff roof option which included a leatherette storage bag that clipped to the top of the spare tire hump. The third generation Mustang was based on the larger Fox platform, which had a larger body and increased wheelbase, which yielded more interior space for four passengers, especially the back seat. 
The car also had more trunk space and a larger engine bay. Available body styles included the coupe, hatchback, or convertible. Available trim levels included an unnamed base model, Gia, Cobra, L, GL, GLX, GT, Turbo GT, LX, and the GT350 20th Anniversary Edition, along with the SVO and Cobra R. The third generation Mustang had two different front end styles. From 1979 to 1986, the front end was angled back using four rectangular headlights, known by enthusiasts as four eyes. The front end was restyled for the 1987 to 93 model years to reflect the contemporary rounded off aero style of the Ford Taurus using flush composite headlamps, headlamps and a smooth grill less nose. The Mustang was selected as the 1979 official Indianapolis 500 pace car with replicas sold to the public. Its special body appearance parts were adapted by the Cobra package for 1980 and 1981. 1982 marked the return of the Mustang GT, which replaced the Cobra using a specially modified high output 5 liter engine. 1983 marked the return of the Mustang convertible after a 9 year absence. The front fascias of all Mustangs were restyled, featuring a new grille sporting the blue oval Ford emblem for the first time. 1984 introduced the high-performance SVO, featuring a four-cylinder engine and unique bodywork. The GT350 model was white with red interior, and it had red lower body side rocker stripes, to commemorate the Mustang's 20th anniversary. 1985 Mustangs received another front fascia restyle. The Mustang received a major restyling for 1987, including the interior which carried it through the end of the 1993 model year. Under the newly established Ford SVT division, the 1993 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra and Cobra R were added as special high-performance models which closed out the third generation of the Mustang. Fifteen years after came the Mustang's major redesign for the first time for the 1994 model year. Many styling cues came from other Mustangs, but also for the first time, the hatchback was no longer offered, leaving it to only the coupe and convertible. The original design of the 4th gen was produced from 1994 to 1998, and it was facelifted from 1999 to 2004 with Ford's new edge styling theme with sharper contours, larger wheel arches, and bodywork creases. However, basic proportions remain the same. The powertrains remained the same except it got some new improvements. This generation Mustang was also sold in Australia from 2001 to 2002 to compete with the Holden Monaro. Due to the fact that the Mustang at the time was never designed for right-hand drive configuration, Ford Australia contacted Tickford Vehicle Engineering to convert 250 Mustangs and modify them to meet Australian design rules at a cost of 4 million Australian dollars. Sales did not meet expectations, due in part to a very high selling price. Only 377 Mustangs were sold in Australia between 2001 and 2003. Ford introduced a redesigned 2005 model year at the 2004 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, codenamed S197. The S197 styling echoes from the fastback Mustangs of the late 1960s. The 2010 model year Mustang was released in spring of 2009 with a redesigned interior, which included sequential LED taillights, a reduced drag coefficient of 4% on base models and 7% on GT models. The engine for the base Mustangs at the time remained unchanged for 2010, while the GT's engine was revised to produce more power. All engines were revised for the 2011 model year, along with the introduction of electric power steering replacing the hydraulic units. The Shelby GT500 was introduced for 2011 and was revised in 2013 with a bigger and more powerful engine. Along with that, the Mustang's exterior styling was also revised for the 2013 model year. Development of the 2015 Mustang, codenamed S550, began in 2009 under Chief Engineer Dave Perikak and Exterior Design Director Joel Pis Piasowski. Shortly after the 2010 model year Mustang update went on sale. In December of 2010, an exterior design theme proposed by Kemal Kurek from Ford's Cologne, Germany Design Studios was selected by Design Management. Kurek located to Ford's Design Studios in Dearborn in 2011. During this mid-stage development, 
The original exterior design proposal was eventually rejected by Ford's executives, resulting in rapid design changes. After reviewing three different exterior theme proposals, A, B, and C in design clinics in September 2012, theme A, the final exterior design, was approved by Ford management, with the final design freeze occurring in December of 2012, 20 months ahead of originally scheduled August 2014 production. The interior design program began in the spring of 2010 under Doyle Letson. By late 2011, a final interior proposal was settled and there was a combination of themes A and B. In 2012, the final interior design was frozen. The first test cars in the 2010 model year bodies were spotted earlier in June 2012, and the first S550 prototypes were built five months later in May of 2013. The sixth generation of the Ford Mustang debuted on December of 2013 with same-day media events around the world. The 2015 Mustang marks the 50th anniversary of the continuous Mustang production, which began of course in 1964. The S550 Mustang is also the first ever Mustang to be produced in a right-hand drive configuration from the factory to be utilized in overseas countries. This generation of Mustang has been influenced on the front end by Ford's Evos concept, which was featured in the Frankfurt Motor Show in 2011. The rear famous vertical par taillight will continue, however will be lit by LED and will illuminate sequentially when being used for turn signals just like the previous S197 style. The Mustang's interior body style resembles that of an airplane cockpit boasting an increased body width and a larger cabin similar to the Ford GT. This gives more room in the back of the vehicle for rear passengers. The changeable ambient lighting continues but will spread beyond the dials, cup holders, and speakers to other points within the cabin, something also found in European luxury cars like the Mercedes S-Class. A metal tag on the dashboard bears the Ford Mustang running horse insignia. Standard features for all 2015 or higher Ford Mustangs include proximity key entry with door-mounted touch sensors and keyless entry push-button ignition system, an AM-FM stereo with single-disc CD MP3 player, color LCD display, Ford Sync system with Bluetooth hands-free phone and A2DP wireless stereo and audio streaming, USB, iPod, and 3.5mm audio jack inputs, a cluster-mounted central color LCD driver information display screen, ETCS electronic traction control, electronic stability control, ABS, Front and side mounted SRS airbags. You also have 911 call for airbag deployment and a rear backup camera system. You can also get an XM satellite radio subscription or even the My4 Touch or Sync 3 system as of 2016, a touchscreen media infotainment system with 8 inch LCD to color touchscreen, smartphone integration, app integration, and you can also now get support for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can also get Sirius XM Travel Link, HD Radio, microSD card slot, and enhanced voice control. GPS navigation is also available, as is a 9-speaker premium sound system or 12-speaker Shaker Pro surround sound system. 2017 brought Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to support premium models with Sync 3. In January of 2017, Ford officially introduced the refreshed 2018 Mustang facelift. For 2018, Ford has dropped the base V6 model, making the four-cylinder EcoBoost the base model. The new Mustang sports a mildly restyled front clip and dashboard design, a new standard and optional wheels, inside a new optional 12-inch fully digital LCD instrument cluster which adorns the dash and can be heavily customized by the driver, a new 10-speed automatic transmission replacing the existing 6-speed unit, and it also joins the 6-speed manual transmission as an option. The new 10-speed transmission is a joint development between General Motors and Ford, which is used in the Camaro ZL1 and Ford F-150 Raptor. The MagnaRide Adjustable Suspension System, available only in the Shelby GT350 and Shelby GT350R, is now available on standard Mustang models. You can also get an active valve performance switchable exhaust system which allows the driver to customize the Mustang's exhaust note, which this particular vehicle does not have. Also newly available is a heated leather wrap steering wheel, which is offered in addition to the available of heated and ventilated leather trim front bucket seats. The front instrument panel has also been redesigned with new trim panels, available in four standard finishes as well as carbon fiber, depending on the model of Mustang that is chosen. 
A new performance package 2 incorporates a larger radiator, wider Michelin Sport Cup 2 tires, and Brembo brake calipers, enhanced springs, K-brace and a strut tower brace, larger sway bar and unique chassis tuning, and brings the Mustang GT much closer to the GT350 in handling and performance. Features that remain available from the 2017 Mustang after this facelift include the SYNC 3 infotainment system with CarPlay and Android Auto, Shaker Pro Premium Audio System, GT Performance Package, Premium Plus Package, and the Wheel and the Stripe Package. New exterior color options for this period include Orange Fury Metallic, Tricoat, and Royal Crimson Metallic Tinted Clear Coat. New color options include, for the interior, Showstopper Red and Midnight Blue. Along with that, a number of colors have been replaced for 2020. One example includes Ingot Silver, last seen on the 2019. Now you can get a darker shade of silver known as Iconic Silver Metallic. As far as your exterior features, you have a ton of nice cosmetic options. You have LED daytime running lights, projector headlights, nice black grill. You also have some hood vents to allow for better airflow. Turn signal mirrors. Mirrors are heated. You also have blind spot assist. You have satin black trim coming across the bottom of the vehicle. LED tail lights. Rear parking sensors. You also have a third brake light. This Mustang comes standard with 18 by 8 inch 5 twin spoke machined alloy wheels running on 235.50 R18 tires with front and rear ventilated disc brakes with anti-locking, electronic brake distribution as well as active brake assist. The Ford Mustang GT comes standard with an independent McPherson strut front suspension as well as an independent multi-link rear suspension with front rear stabilizer bars, coil springs, as well as gas pressurized shock absorbers. This vehicle is a length of 188.5 inches, a width of 75.4 inches, as well as a height of 54.9 inches, running on a 107.1 inch wheelbase. Total curb weight can be around 4620 pounds. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. The Ford Mustang GT comes center with a 5 liter naturally aspirated 32 valve V8. It produces 460 brake horsepower at 7000 rpm and 420 pound feet of torque at 4600 rpm. 0 to 97 kilometers an hour or 0 to 60 miles an hour is rated at 4.5 seconds with a top speed of 155 miles per hour. This vehicle is rear wheel drive with a 16 gallon tank requiring 91 octane or 95 ron gasoline, EPA estimated miles per gallon ratings are 15 city and 24 highway. Open up the Mustang and you're greeted by a really nice interior. You have power windows, locks and mirrors. You have nice leather padding coming across the doors, chrome trim, you have a Mustang sill plate. On your seats you do have side airbags on the seats. Along with that you have leather padding, perforations across the centers. They are power seats as well with manual recline. You also have white color contrast stitching coming across the seats as well. And so we'll go ahead and put the top back up.
So we'll go ahead and shut her up. Nice tight panels. The Ford Mustang GT comes with the Shaker Pro audio system. It is overall very nice. Unfortunately, I was not able to play any music in the video. You have a tweeter on the side curtain. You have visors with illuminated vanity mirrors and a credit card holder as well. Three position garage home link. You have your two reading lights, SOS emergency, your airbag light, auto dimming rear view mirror. You have three vents for your air conditioning system. They are quickly adjustable in a circular motion. You have the Ford Sync 3 system, so you have things like audio, climate, navigation. You also have Bluetooth phone, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. You can also control the climate on the screen or using the dials on the dash. And you also can use various settings. You can tune your audio and set up other things in the sync system overall. You have your volume and tune buttons, seat track, play pause, power and mute. You also have heated and ventilated front seats. And you have front defrost, rear defrost, air conditioning, automatic climate control. You also have automatic temperature control as well. It is dual zone. You have your toggles for things like your hazard switch, driving modes, you have a 12 volt power outlet and a little bit of storage at the bottom as well right in front of your shifter along with a USB port. You have your 10 speed transmission shifter, stitch D brake, two cup holders, full center console with a 12 volt power outlet and a USB port and you also have some extra coin storage as well. As far as your steering wheel, you have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel with controls. On your left, you have your volume controls, seat track, and mute. You have your cruise control on the bottom here. You have your controls for your front infotainment display. So you have your speed, tire pressure, and you have also your other controls such as fuel ratio, cylinder head temperature, oil pressure, and things like that. You have your gauges for all of your controls as well. Voltage, vacuum, oil temp, all that good stuff. You have your trip computer as well, which is pretty nice. Apps, driver assist, and settings. You also have auto start stop in this as well. You also have other track features as well since the Mustang is track capable. You have your acceleration timer, brake performance settings, lap timer, and you also have track results as well. As far as the rest of the steering wheel, you have your phone controls, call and put down. And you also have voice command. Please say a command. Help. Help. Interrupt me at any time by pressing the voice button. You can say phone, climate, Sirius, USB, AM, or FM. To get more detailed help, say the name of the device followed by help, like phone help. To access the voice settings, say voice settings. If your phone is connected, you can say commands like redial, Call John Smith, or dial 555-0155. For an introduction to the voice system, say, voice instruction. Cancel. Canceling. 
So overall, it's pretty simple. So for things like phone, music, and all that, that's pretty much what you can use the command for. Coming across to your left side, you have a rear hatch opener. You have a little storage pocket. You have your headlight controls, cruise control setting for your speed, and you also have fog lights. All right. We'll go ahead and shut it down. So we'll go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? The Mustang does have a fair amount of cargo space for its class. You get a good 11.4 cubic feet or 323 total liters of cargo space. In the trunk you will find some of your tonneau cover parts for your convertible top, and you'll find jack storage and spare tire storage underneath. Now do keep in mind your storage space will slightly be reduced if you have the convertible model and your roof is down. Accessing the back seat of the Mustang is pretty straightforward. Just push the seat up front. The passenger seat does feature the same functions as the driver's side, you just don't have lumbar support on this one. Nice size glove box. The Ford Mustang is a very nice car overall. With a strong history of being a great piece of American muscle, it definitely still continues to be that kind of car right now. That includes with the EcoBoost, the 5 liter V8, and also the GT350, GT350R, and the upcoming Shelby GT500. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video of this 2020 Ford Mustang GT Premium Convertible. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where all this came from, and be sure to subscribe today and check out all the future content coming to x Rights Cars. Take care everybody.